Hi everyone and welcome once again to our blog. My name is Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is Cut pro Profile Tool. Let's say we need to edit a 3D object in 2D form for a blow-up view without having to edit our model. Can we in fact do that? Well, the answer is yes. So let's see how that is done. Here we have prepared a scenario where we have two walls converging in a corner with an enclosure for a column. At this particular scale, 1 8 it looks fine. But what happens if we want to see this in a blow-up here for column, column enclosure blow-up? In this particular case, it is wrong. So how do we actually show it properly? Well, we go to Views, and in Views, you will find under Graphics a Cut Profile tool, which has two particular options, one for Face and one for Boundary. In this case, we will be looking at Boundary, lay, um, sorry, Face, and in the next case, we will be looking at Boundary. So let's go ahead and make sure that Face is selected. Then we select the object that has the faces we need to cut, which is this one right here. Once we do that and select the object, we have some drawing tools to which we will just zoom in a little bit here. And we will begin with a, rect a line here, somewhere about there, coming this way, and going somewhere there. Now, this looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little close. I can still nudge them over using the nudge key. Okay, so this is going to be my boundary right here. This little arrow that we see here indicates the part that will be remaining visible, which is this part. So this is going to be basically masked out. Let's go ahead and say yes. And as you can see, exactly wha how we talked about, the piece that remains, remains. Now we need to do that to the wall. So we go and go to the view. And once again, cut profile. This time we select the wall. And we once again draw, starting from this endpoint here to about there maybe and come across once we have that there we ensure that the arrow select uh, pointing to the side that is going to be remaining is pointing in the right direction by clicking on it gives you the option to flip it and we go ahead and say done once again it's been cut we need this wall now so we go back to view cut profile select the object Okay, one thing I wanted to point out now is the yellow lines that you see here, those are the actual uh, edges of the wall, and it's that that we're going to actually be drawing against. So we actually have to start at one of the edges, go whatever dimension we want to it, go ahead and create our cut planes or cut lines here. Notice how it aligns nicely for us, so we can go ahead and finish it up against that end, giving us a nice nice little box that will open up for us. And the arrow is pointing in the proper direction, telling us that we're going to be, to be keeping this section here. We'll go ahead and say check mark to finish. So now this particular enclosure is being represented properly in this blow up. Let's say now that we have a section in which we need to go ahead and create our key that will anchor this um, foundation wall onto this footing. For that, we once again go back to View, and in View we go to the Cut Profiles. But instead of using Face as we did before, we're actually going to now use Boundary. So the Boundary Edge really, and it's really what it's talking about, it's talking about the boundaries between faces. It's not this one nor that one, it's actually this here. This is the boundary between this section and this section, so it is that one that we're going to go ahead and edit. Once again, it turns into yellow, telling us this is the boundary that we're working with. So we go ahead and define our line here, about there, and open up so we can then draw our key in. Once we have the lines drawn that we need to, and they are then abutting up against the yellow line, that is very important, we'll go ahead and say check mark. And once again, as you can see, now this particular foundation wall 
is now looking like it's going into the footing and it the footing now looks like it's got uh, this section where it receives the foundation wall the advantage of this is that we're not doing it three-dimensionally it's two-dimensional so all of that added weight of the model has been removed because we are using the edit uh, profile sorry it's it uh, it's the cut profile tool okay so with that we have achieved the end of this small demonstration i hope you've enjoyed it this is jim cuervo signing off for digital drafting systems until the next one stay safe thank you <laughs>